meeting everyone from other countries is probably the best bit about going to Singapore. It was, it was after the racing had finished, I had two weeks out there where I just, um, there were culture activities where you went on, event, there was Island Adventure, which you went out and we were mixed with a group of people we never really knew. We, did, we had never met in our life. From, there were some people from Mexico, there some, some from Cap the Caribbean, that, um, and then there was great, uh, three of us from Great Britain, and we all went on an island adventure where we did adventure activities, and we all bonded, and it was fantastic. And then we met up, uh, we became really good friends with some rowers who were Australian, and I, I really missed them. <laughs> but yeah, we had a lot of meeting up with people is what I loved doing, so it was fantastic. I loved it. Well, you get to understand the respect of people, um, the respect that everyone's training for the same, for the same um, goal as you. They're all doing exactly the same things, um, and you, and they're all trying to be the best they can be, really. And you just understand people so much better and get to um, learn more about different cultures and the way their lives are like, which. It's surprising how similar it is actually in some places, how similar we all train. But then there are so many differences, like the weather, how weather affects everyone. It's completely different. <laughs> I'd say definitely if you're joining a sport, join a sport, find a sport which you love and you're really enjoying. Don't never do a sport if you're not enjoying it because because you're not going to get the benefits out of it. Find a sport which you really enjoy and love doing. And as we're going to another country, just try and meet as many people as you can because it's just so much fun um, meeting and learning about different people. Um, those would be two